Welcome to Dolany TV if this is your first time here, or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Tonight we're still talking the Edmonton Oilers, but something a little bit different than usual. First thing you would notice that's different about this video is you most likely did not see an ad before this video. Of course, for those of you on YouTube Premium, you wouldn't see an ad anyway, but just to make mention of that, this video is not being monetized. That is one thing I really want to hammer home because this is an important conversation. I want to have mono a mono, ad free, and of course person to person in this one because this is going to be a hefty, hearty conversation to take home for you. And of course, regularly at this time, I'd be asking you for the subscribe or whatever, but that is not what we're doing here. The housekeeping notes tonight, friends, simply put, check in on your friends, check in on that person you haven't heard from in a while. And of course, number one, take care of yourself because no one knows what you're going through and you don't know what anyone else is going through and it's a very tough time out there especially coming out of winter coming into the summer there's this weird transition period where it's hot cold hot cold and it can be pretty hard on uh, those who have either seasonal affective disorder or um, just simply any kind of mental health issues and that's where I want to begin like I said we are talking about the Edmonton Oilers in this video this is not a complete deviation away from what we normally do here on Dolany TV however today we're talking about the human side of hockey and one being Slater Cuckoo who today shared out his um, his past year and what he's been up to and why he took his mental health leave from the Oilers and uh, why he just kinda disappeared off our map there for the past little bit here over the course of time so I'll share with you just basically the um, notes I can make here for uh, Slater Cuckoo's uh, LinkedIn post that he made today regarding his mental health situation and uh, why he left the game of hockey over a year ago um, he, he today shared a little bit about that going on to say that uh, it's a big anxiety thing for him and it's actually quite something that um, it was unbearable and unhealthy towards him to be in the game of hockey. Uh, one thing was for the majority of his professional games, he would go game days without being able to eat, right? That, that's what the anxiety was doing to him. And he sums it up as such, um, if anything, the night before and the day of the games, hockey night in Canada on a completely empty stomach, let's do this I guess so it's anxiety coupled with a little bit of un well the anxiety basically making him unable to eat and um, he couples this with anxiety shows up in all shapes and forms one of the ways mine did was the inability to eat so that's that's the main takeaway you need to know is that he suffered with that heavily throughout his career and obviously led to him leaving the NHL on mental health leave due to it and obviously, too, he talks further in the post, which you can see up on the Dolany TV community tab. I posted it there. We'll get to that message in a moment. But um, he basically goes on to say that he just thought it was something that was normal at the start and then realized, no, 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 this is something that's causing a downward spiral and obviously being scrutinized about his weight, his ability on the ice and stuff, and obviously knowing it was tied to his inability to eat on game days or days before games uh, caused a very vicious cycle of needing to eat but physically being unable. So that's kind of where we're at with um, that post from Slater Cuckoo today. I Like you said, I, uh, you can read it in full up on the Doll Indie TV community tab. It's something that's free and accessible to anybody on YouTube. You can go to my Twitter account. I retweeted the tweet from Cody Jansen, which had the screenshot from Slater Cuckoo's Instagram post. It's now been reposted a couple of times over on Twitter, so you can definitely check out Slater Cuckoo's full message there on his mental health situation and why he stepped away from the game to pretty much find for yourself if that's what's something you choose to do, which I would highly encourage you to please do. Um, so that leads me back to that community post I mentioned a moment ago where simply I put out a, can I get a hell yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry to all the children or sorry to the parents of the children watching back home that, of course, I know that can be a little bit of a sensitive word sometimes, um, but simply put, it's something that uh, Jesse and JD, 
butchered it. Jesse and JD do on the CJ92 morning show here in Calgary. Um, and it's their hell yeahs, and they just pretty much to anything that deserves some recognition, whether it be in the Calgary community or somebody across Canada or somebody doing something really great across the world. Uh, they, they always try to make sure that goes recognized somewhere along the way, whether it even just end up being on their show. And it's something that I just wanted to pass those kind of great things along to somebody like Slater Cuckoo, who, I mean, that is not an easy thing to share, friends. That is... <laughs> That's tough, and I, I'll get into why I'm sharing this angle of the story here in a moment. But for Slater Cuckoo to step away from the game, one, know that it was causing him physical and mental harm to be in the NHL as a human being, and then two, to share this after, right? Nobody, nobody. I, I made mention of it a couple of weeks ago. I Nobody has heard a lick of Slater Cuckoo. Nobody knows what's going on with him. Nobody knows if he's ever coming back or will ever play hockey again. And to share that out and say, this is what it is. And I am hoping that sharing this message helps in that is, you know what, Slater Cuckoo steps out of the shadows, right? He's disappeared into nowhere land steps back in today and says, hey, this is what's going on and this is why you have to listen for a minute. That's <clears throat> that's that's awesome. And to get back to that, I think that deserves a big hell yeah tonight across Oilers land because that is phenomenal to see. And I mean, basically to kind of hone it back to myself and why I'd be sharing something like this publicly on YouTube when it's somebody else's story to tell is it's goes back to something that I think a lot of you that have been here on Dolany TV over the past five years that I've been doing the Oilers stuff is you would know that there is in that five-year span a one and a half year gap where there wasn't anything there was no Dolany TV Oilers news because I straight up couldn't do it that was due to um, a lot of bipolar mental health issues for sure and I think the problem also is something that I've now come to recognize and something I will have to reckon with the next time I go see my psychologist or yeah, psychologist, psychiatrist, psychiatrist. That's the right word. I always butcher those two. My psychiatrist is the uh, situation that I deal with anxiety. You see right here what I'm doing with my hands. That's not even for show. That's just it's it's something that's really tough to talk about. And I just realized I was doing that actually. But um Simply, it's uh, something I'm going to have to reckon with myself a little bit here too. Is <laughs> it's something that now that I've solved all the bipolar issues and I've built healthy routines to offset those mental health issues, is it's something that has really, really cropped up recently in terms of right. I I'm facing a lot of big, big, big adult things here in my life that I'm going to have to step up and do over the past or over the next year and that I've kind of started doing over the past year and it's uh it's it's really getting to me I think at times and that's something that I'm like I said I'm gonna have to recognize recognize and reckon with when I go to the psychiatrist next time oh but um yeah it's it's something that you don't realize is there until it's there I know Several members in my family have dealt with anxiety quite a bit over their lives, and right, it's something. Oh no, I'm bipolar. Like, I, right, that's my thing. I'm good. I, <laughs> I, I, I deal with that. I don't have to worry about anxiety. But then you look at a night like, um, a night like Friday night out with the uh, team with work and what should be a laid back, easy Friday night is. Uh, a lot of it is just the anxiety wraps myself up so much in my head. So we we're at the bar in Airdrie, just chilling, having some food, having some drinks for the folks that do drink, and obviously me just planning on who I'm DD and wherever we're going next. And well, I'm sitting there just talking it over with the uh, with the boss and with um, with a couple of my coworkers, and suddenly I just I just couldn't do it. I had to get in my car or I had to go out to my car it's minus 20 outside it's snowing sideways it's great great day and I just had to sit in my car as it warmed up I didn't leave but I just had to sit there crank up the tunes a little bit and chill out for a few minutes because I simply could not do the social situation anymore I was just fried and that's that's something I know that I think the term for that is social anxiety but that's something that 
right? Is I, I know it's there, but I, I have always masked it as just being part of bipolar. But I think part of it is too, you got to recognize that just because one thing's wrong with you doesn't mean another thing is, right? Just because your foot's broken doesn't mean your hand can't be broken too, right? I guess to put it in a physical aspect is just because there's one thing doesn't mean there can't be a second thing. But yeah, then we get out to uh, IDD, some friends over to the bar in Airdrie Main Street. And um, we're there, right? I'm I'm there, a mid-20s guy. I should thrive in those situations. Single, hey, you know what? It's a Friday, Friday night on the town. Should be out there on the dance floor. I couldn't leave the booth. I physically, mentally could not leave the booth we were sitting in because I was just, nope, nope, can't do it, can't do it, nope, nope, nope. And that's like I, like I'm saying, right? Is that's just in my day to day life, and that's after anxiety and bipolar derailed YouTube for me for a year and a half. And I think a lot of you that watched me back in 2018, 2019, 2020 would know the version of me that you're watching here in 2023 is night and day difference from that kid who was an absolute mess. And I mean, honestly, the anxiety thing I've always chalked up to just bipolar. But I mean, it's I could go on and on for hours and hours about stories that just show off riddled with anxiety. And, um, you know, it's really great to see someone in a high performing job like the NHL in Slater Cuckoo come out and say, you know what, like I recognized it and I took care of the situation because that's something I did as well myself in 2021 when I when enough was enough I I pulled back I pulled out and that was the big thing I got away from YouTube I focused on myself worked on myself a lot over that year and a half I was gone and like I said five seconds ago the guy you're seeing on YouTube now especially if you're a new subscriber to Doll Any TV go back check out some of the old stuff I did in 2018 2020 that like especially go check out the Hawks series from 2020 like if you want the uh, if you want a good explanation of where I was to where I am now that is as far of as good explanation game 1 against the Hawks in 2020 that will tell you everything you need to know about how far I've come in my battle with mental health issues but um yeah no to put this one back just squarely on Slater Cuckoo sharing his story is it's it's phenomenal to see because it's it's great to see Slater's full message and I don't I don't want to spoil the whole thing because I I think like honestly when I read it I was crying at work. I I uh I didn't have many like I I literally just handed my phone over to my boss and I said you got to read this man. And I mean my boss he's a he's a guy who's been at high levels of sports himself. So I mean he knows kind of the part and parcel mental game that goes into those kind of things. So I knew he'd appreciate seeing somebody share something like that. So, yeah, no, it uh, it hit me like a brick. So I'm hoping uh, go to that community tab here on Dolan TV. Go check that out and make sure you read the whole thing. You just have to click it if you're on mobile or you have to click it on your laptop or computer and you'll see the full thing. But I fully encourage you to please do that tonight because that is one heck of a story from Slater Cuckoo and you know what I I, uh, I think it gets thrown away around way too loosely by the younger generations now but when they say I feel that I felt that and that's why I thought tonight right like I said this is not something that I want to make money off of this is not something that I need to make money off of this is something you and me right now just had to sit down and discuss for the 14, 15 minutes, whatever it's going to take and just talk it out because this is something that needs to be heard and I'm glad um, I'm glad you took the time tonight to listen to some of my thoughts. Sorry if it's a little scattered. I, You see I did my hair from the previous video. I'm not wearing the jacket. I went upstairs, showered and figured I, I better come down here with a fresh face so I took some time in the shower to try and write this one up in the head but unfortunately when you're talking very personal things, it's it's hard to script it the right way. So friends, I hope you took something away from this one tonight. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. I didn't know if I'd have a second video up, but then I realized, yeah, I do. And uh, thank you for spending your time with me this evening. We'll talk tomorrow. 
The Oilers face the Dallas Stars for a pre-St. Patrick's Day Thursday night game. We'll have the call here on Dolan TV for that one. For those of you that are unable to listen or don't want to listen to the hockey game on the regular methods. I'm Tyson, this is Dolan TV. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow.